In many cases, the mandate to take the pinchy has been dropped, but in one particular area, it is still alive and well. And it's not a good thing. These people are absolutely evil. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple different ways you can do that. One, just click the super thanks down below on this video. That'll open up a donation prompt where you can make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You can also help me out with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. Still no new signups yet, guys, but you pulled this uh, through for me before, so I know we can do it again. With Patreon, you will receive all the alerts for all my content, unlike YT and their alerts, which you're not going to get all of them. You can leave all your comments on the videos completely censorship-free, including uh, ability to send me direct messages. And if you want to know my story, how did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry here with no sight? I have a video in the description that explains it all. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Let's talk about an Australian mom by the name of Vicky Derderian. It was back in 2020 that Vicky had suffered heart failure. It has not been an easy journey for her, to say the least. It was so bad that she needed to have an operation where they installed a ventricular assist device. This is a mechanical device that helps to pump blood, pump blood throughout the body because the heart is unable to do so. Now at the time, she was too weak to actually undergo any sort of a transplant. This whole ordeal, it ended up leaving her on life support for a time because of the fact that she could not breathe on her own. She was in intensive care unit for months that this took place. But now, years later, she is finally at a place where she is able to receive a transplant from Victoria in Australia. Is she eligible to get on the list for the transplant? She is, except she is being denied this life-saving surgery because why she refused to get the pinchy and i have reported over the last year numerous individuals that had been denied similar treatment whether it's for a kidney replacement liver trans whatever it was right even heart and there are still hospitals out there that are refusing to perform it because they want these people to take the pinchy they are so scared. Can you imagine? These people are so scared that these individuals are going to somehow encounter the cuckoo among the transplant that it's just going to mess everything up. They are cowards. This is why I, I've said before and I will continue maintain to say this. That in these last days that we're in right now, you are going to need a supernatural type of faith if you want to endure treatments and basic things that you know we've taken for granted for so long we now have to rely on god because you see god can perform the heart transplant here for vicky derderian he can give her a new heart that's what i'm talking about when you can no longer trust these doctors you can trust the master physician who is jesus christ now let me get into a little bit more of this derderian appeared on an Australian talk show with host Carl Stefanovic, who oddly enough, I talked about a week ago and he actually spoke out against getting any additional pinchies. He's somebody that from the beginning ran a campaign where he was all about the pinchy, told people in Australia to take it. He's had the original two doses himself, but he told one doctor he had on the show that he is done with it. Why? Because he's seen all the reports of all these people dropping all over the world. He said, you know what? I'm done with getting pinchies. It ain't worth it anymore to me. He said he'd rather get the cuckoo than have to worry about getting another pinchy. So, Vicky was on Carl's show with her husband, John, where they discussed this whole ordeal. And on the show as well was one of these so-called health experts who was actually engaging in a back and forth here with Vicky, telling her the pros of why she should in fact get the pinchy. Defended it every step of the way and told her that the risks for getting the pinchy are 
So small. I mean, he understands. Are there some risks? Sure there is. But nothing even close to what all these other people are saying out there. He says, it's our job to do everything that we can to convince people like Vicky to get the pinchy. The hospital is basically telling her, no pinchy, no new heart for you. Leaving her off the list entirely. The medical authority will not drop it. And here's the thing too, she has an exemption. Think about everything that she's already been through with her heart, right? She's smart to not want to put this thing in her body. She talked about it. She says, I've had all these other pinchies in my life, right? I'm not some anti-pinchy person, she said, but when it comes to this one, sorry. She's like, but I think this would do nothing but jeopardize my ability to have a successful transplant. But that's not what the doctors are saying. No, no, no. So these people are pure evil. And at the end of the day, when they go before God and they have to give an account of their life, they will be dealt with accordingly. I will say it again. You will need a supernatural faith here in these end times to endure. Whether you're somebody like Vicki Derdarian who needs a new heart, or you're someone that needs another organ, or you know what? Even just basic protection. Can you count on your country to do that for you? Can you count on your country to tell you the truth about what's really going on? I think you know the answer to that question. But the one person, again, who you can always count on. And look, I know it's hard times right now. For so long, we've been able to rely on all these other people, right? Never really had to rely on God so much. All of a sudden now, what's happening? We're being squeezed, right? Especially Christians. But maybe Christians who so much before in the past didn't feel that they had to really go to God so much because you had it easy for so long. Times have changed, right? As it says on the banner behind me, normal is not coming back, but Jesus is. I'll leave it there. I'll put more information on this for you guys in the description, including a clip of the video interview that Vicki gave about the entire situation. Again, please pray for her as well as she navigates the next steps of what to do. Shame on this doctor as well for trying to still convince her even during this interview to make the right decision and get the pinchy. What I want to do right now, though, is I want to end this video on hope, which is something that I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. You guys know I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines here, keep you up to speed on everything that's going on. And I do it because, again, we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. If you're someone watching right now and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, to wipe your sin away, the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Help me out with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, still no new signups yet for the month, but I know guys, we can pull through with the goal. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video. That'll open up a donation prompt. You can make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.